We got K Yakamelli. How you pronounce it? Yakamelli. Yakamelli. Yeah, okay. We got K. Hey, put some respect <laughs> on his name, man. So K been around for a long time, speed training. Now, I've seen this dude work, 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 work. And one of the main things with this guy is he put up what he was doing off season. What was he doing? Box jumping? How many? It is six years box jump. Bench pressing, all that stuff. Here go a guy on the rise. The stock has rose up from him doing off-season workouts. And now it's translating from his sophomore tape to his junior tape. And he's producing. And then now schools are starting to come in. He got a U-Pen offer. Wisconsin's on him heavy right now. Yeah. Wisconsin really likes K. And he's one of them guys. He's the type of athlete. Wisconsin will come in and probably end up offering him. He might be a camp guy. K probably going to go run a 4-5. Do all the testing well, and he's an athlete, and they'll put him in a position to win. Absolutely, um, you know, you, like like you speak about his, you know, his off season and things like that. It shows how good of an athlete he is. But you know, I think things are starting to come full circle for K now, and the the testing numbers you see is starting to show on the football field right. as well. Right. Right. He's doing a good job in transitioning or or getting that work that he's putting in. You know, we see the, the box jump. You see the explosion on right, the field. Right. Um, you know, you talk about, you know, just like his speed, the fast twitch muscle movement. Right. And just overall, it's just making him a better football player. Right. I got to see him a little bit uh, in the 7-on-7 seven seven circuit, you know, um, you know, coaching with Evolve. And, you know, his his game-breaking ability, like that, 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 that quick explosion is the difference in, like, creating separation from guys and he's out there balling against the number one seven on seventeen in the country, right, and they right, can't right. hold him. Right. You know. So, right. I mean, what's, what, 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 he like a little young McCaffrey, huh? Hey, I, I've been calling him that since yeah, I yeah, like since, a little young since, since I since I met him. When I found right. out he played tailback as well, right? I'm like, oh, and he's starting to get a little CMC, a little, a little uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Now, you know, that's, that's all that's all that all that all that Zoe work right there, man. <laughs> Put, pick him up, put him down, and change yeah. the direction. Right, right, right. But no, absolutely though, because you know he can play. You know he plays some receiver playing in the slot. You know you see it in like in the seven on seven. You know, but then also you seeing him play tailback. Right. And just with his explosion, physicality, you know he's a, he's a total package. This is him as a sophomore, right? Right. Oh man, look at that vision, the cutback. Ooh, crib it. That's, the, that's some zoids right there. I said, all you gotta do, crib it, crib it, take it to the house. That's all they want to see. Driven it, yeah. But this is the you know this is the stuff that we spoke on, you know you know in the spotlight you know when we broke down you know what he's about his you know his games he's about showing some strength right there, yeah being able to break through that tackle. Uh, cribs you know. it touchdown. Oh, you know, he's cribbing stuff. Yeah, that's what that's what they all want to see. Take it to the house. There's a special place on the roster for guys who know how to who know how to find. Oh, the end did zone. he put that behind his back? You see that? Yeah. Oh, and he's out running people. Okay. You see a lot, a lot of places where guys are just, you know, you, you know, you try to like, you know, you compensate. There's not really too many guys that uh, just play one position. But you see a dude like Devin Hester. Right. You know, he he had his spot as a kick returner. Right. You know, they tried to put him in other places, but listen, when you got the ability to find the end zone in the return game, it gives right. you an advantage. I mean, right. there he is with another touchdown. He's right there. Hey, that's all that matters. That's all they want to see. They want to see you take it to the house. Young Cade out here. There he's motioning out the Cade's in the spotlight. Catches the bubble. Explodes through that. There's the strength to break that break through that tackle right there. And honestly, to be honest, right now, he looks faster than he does on his film right, right. now. Right. You right. know, you, we could, you, you could tell he had a real good offseason. Right. Vision right there, bouncing it out. Making a guy miss in open space. I mean, this is a dude like he's making a lot of plays as a young guy for this team, you know. But you really don't hear a lot about him, right? That's a good move right there. Right. You know, he put the brakes on and then was able to reaccelerate, get into the end zone. Right. The case is the truth. There ain't no doubt about it. I can see why. I can see why schools is on him. I can see yeah. why. Yeah. I can see it. He got he can get sense. you he can get you in the pass game and the run game. Yeah, he's versatile. Yeah, you know, and, that, and that's what you need. You need guys that can be able to take the ball, 
get in between the tackles, and we see his strength on a few of these plays. Right. But also, he has the speed to get to the outside. Right. But then the thing that's going to set him apart from the next guy is his ability to make guys miss. Right. And, and he's, he's about 200 pounds right now. Too. Yeah. Yeah, he's 200 right he, now. He's solid and put together. Right. So upside wise, what you think? What you think, Drew? With K. I, I I see K as a ball carrier on the next level. Mm-hmm. Um, the division stuff that you just can't teach. You can tell guys and make certain type of reads, but for him to be able to see it and apply it and make guys miss, you know, I think you know he's definitely going to be a ball carrier on the next level, man. But don't, don't underestimate his uh, his athleticism. Right. And you you can see him playing defense. You know, safety. As, as a safety or a linebacker, yeah. you know, because now at the you know the highest level, they're getting a lot of those guys that are former defensive backs playing inside linebacker right, that can right, move. Because right. the name of the game offensively is spreading dudes out and trying to get mismatches. Right. So now you got to find athletes that can match up with these tight ends that are running four right. fours and these tailbacks that are running right. four 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 three. Um, you know, type of deal. But I mean, K, like, he's a, he's a superb athlete. And the strides that he's taken, if he continues on, you know, he's he's for sure definitely one of the top guys in the area. Right. Yeah, that hard work pay off. He he reminds me of the typical Big Ten type player. He reminds me of a Big Ten player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Un- don't look. Some of them guys don't look as fast as they really are. But then it translates his, onto the his, next his speed. Is yeah, yep. Yeah. You know, he reminds me of uh, the Iowa's, the Wisconsin's, those type dudes. Purdue type guys. You know, he's one of these yeah. guys like, how does he keep getting behind the right. defense? Right, right. Unexpectedly, yeah. yep. It's it's real it's real like smooth the way he transitions. Yeah. Yeah. Yep.